Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I stand before you to introduce the transformative power of cloud computing and the best practices that will revolutionize your business security. With continuous monitoring and logging, you will have unparalleled visibility into your cloud infrastructure, allowing you to detect and mitigate threats in real time. But that's not all. There are robust incident response plan ensures shift action when faced with security breaches, minimizing damage and maximizing recovery. I will guide you through every step empowering you to safeguard your valuable assets and maintain business continuity. So today in this video, we talk about Cloud Security Essential as a part of this series. This is the sixth video. I'm talking about the best practices of the cloud security in that continuous monitoring and logging along with incident response plan. Let's dive in. As a part of this video on the continuous monitoring and logging, there are essential components for the robust security strategy in the cloud computing platform. They provide real-time visibility into the cloud environment and enabling organizations to detect and respond to the security instance promptly. Continuous monitoring involves the ongoing collection, analysis, and assessment of security-related data and events within the cloud environment. It provides a real-time visibility into the security posture of cloud systems, applications, and data. The goal of continuous monitoring is to identify and respond to security threats and vulnerabilities in a timely manner. We discussed in the prior videos about the fundamentals of data security and there are four different best practices. In that line, this is the fifth item as a part of data security best practices. If you, if you have not watched the prior videos, I'm sharing the link here. So please feel free to go back to that series and watch the video before you dive into the continuous monitoring and log. Continuous monitoring involves ongoing collection and analysis. The goal of continuous monitoring is to identify and respond to security threats and vulnerabilities in a timely manner. And here are the aspects of continuous monitoring in the cloud, even collection, centralized log management, log analysis, security even correlation, threat detection, and incident response. And finally, compliance monitoring. Let's see what event collection is. In Azure, Azure Monitor is the central service that collects and processes events and metrics from various Azure resources. When you look at the AWS services, for example, cloud trial logs can be stored in Amazon S3 buckets, while CloudWatch metrics can be sent to CloudWatch logs or integrated with other monitoring tools. Every cloud service provider, they have a very brief and detailed event collection mechanism. For an example, in Google Cloud Platform, stack driver logging. So the stack driver logging is a central service in GCP that collects and stores logs from various GCP services and resources. As I stated earlier, continuous monitoring begins with collection of security related events and data from various sources within your cloud environment. This includes network traffic logs, system logs, access logs, application logs, audit logs, and system event from cloud service providers. The centralized log management, the collected logs and events are centralized in a log management system or security information and event management platform. In short, we call that as SIEM platform. This centralization allows for easy analysis, correlation, and storage of the log data. 
Log analysis involves the examination of collected logs to identify patterns, anomalies, and indicators of security incidents and potential vulnerabilities. Automated analysis techniques such as log parsing, pattern matching, and anomaly detection algorithm help identify potential security threats and suspicious activities. Security even correlation. Correlating security events from multiple sources helps identify complex attack patterns and incidents that may go unnoticed when examining individual logs in isolation. Correlation techniques can help identify the relationship between different events and provide a comprehensive understanding of the security posture. Threat detection and incident response. Continuous monitoring enables the detection of security threats and the timely response to security incidents. By analyzing the log data in real time or near real time, organizations can identify signs of unauthorized access, malware infections, data breaches, or other suspicious activities. This enables the incident response team to take appropriate actions to mitigate the impact of the incidents and initiate incident response procedures. Compliance monitoring. As a part of the continuous monitoring, it plays a vital role in ensuring compliance with the regulatory requirements and industry standards. By analyzing the logs and the events, organizations can validate whether security controls or policies are being followed, track access to sensitive data, and demonstrate compliance with data protection regulation. The second part is continuous logging. When you start monitoring is the time you're ready for logging. The collection data has to be logged under the log management and retention process. The log management is a process of collecting, storing, retaining logs generated within the cloud platform. Effective log management is a crucial for security compliance on forensic investigations. And here are the key aspects of the log management in the cloud. Log collection and aggregation. Logs generated from various sources within the cloud environment, including virtual machines, applications, network devices, and security platform, are collected and aggregated into centralized log repository. Log storage and retention. Logs should be securely stored for a specific period as per regulatory requirements and organizational policies. The duration of log retention may vary based on compliance needs and the need for historical analysis. Log integrity and protection. Logs should be protected under authorized access, tampering or deletion. Implementing proper access controls, encryption and integrity checks ensure the reliability and integrity of your log data. Log analysis and reporting. Logs are analyzed to extract meaningful insights, identify security incidents, and generate reports for security teams and stakeholders. Log analysis can help identify trends, highlight anomalies, and provide evidence of forensic in for forensic investigations or compliance audit. Log backup and recovery. Regular backups of log data should be performed to ensure its availability in case of system failures, data corruption, or security incident. Backup data should be securely stored and recovery procedures should be in place to restore logs when needed. The sixth best practice is incident response plan. Incident response plan you, you must develop a comprehensive incident response plan that outlines the steps to be taken in case of a security breach. Test and update the plan regularly to ensure its effectiveness. 
and here are the steps to include in the incident response plan these are all the best practices steps that we collected based on the years of experience in doing the private audit trial the first one is a preparing document identify and establish an incident response team comprising representatives from IT security legal and other relevant departments clearly defined roles and responsibilities of the team members document contact information for team members and external resources establish communication channel and protocols for incident reporting and coordination detection and initial response establish monitoring mechanism to detect security incidents in real time document indicators define procedures for initial response including isolating affected systems or networks and preserving evidence for investigation assessment and classification assess the nature and scope of the incident classify the incident based on the severity impact and potential risk establish a clear incident classification framework to guide response action containment and mitigation implement immediate measures to contain the incident and prevent further damage isolate the compromised system or networks apply patches updates or security um, um, emergency bug fix or configuration changes to address the vulnerabilities change passwords and revoke access credentials if necessary deploy additional security controls or temporarily suspend affected services if required investigation and analysis conduct a thorough investigation to determine the cause extent and impact of the incident preserve evidence for forensic analysis and potential legal proceedings engage external incident response expert for forensic investigation if needed identify any other potential vulnerabilities or compromised systems communication and reporting establish a clear communication channel with the employees customers partners regulators or law enforcement agencies develop a communication plan to provide timely and accurate updates throughout the incident response process comply with legal and regulatory requirements collaborate with public relations and legal teams to manage external communication recovery and restoration develop a plan to restore affected systems application and data validate its integrity monitor and verify the effectiveness update the security measures to prevent similar incidents in the future lessons learn and improvement it's the key it's the key conduct a post incident review to identify lessons learned and areas of improvement document the findings and recommendations update security policies procedures and training based on identified weaknesses share insights and knowledge gained from the incident across the organization continuous monitoring and follow up remember the incident response plan should be tailored to organization specific needs and regularly viewed and tested to ensure its effectiveness additionally engaging with legal counsel and compliance expert is recommended to ensure adherence to relevant regulations and legal requirements conduct a periodic drills and table top exercises to test and test, test the effectiveness of incident response plan and train the team members i hope you enjoy this video because we put lot of thought process and based on the lessons learned from multiple customers we presented this best practices of continuous monitoring logging and incident response plan if you do have more question reach out to our customer service at 1855 cloud 340b email us at contact us at rctech.org if you like this video like this video share with your friends comment it don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you very much